To get started you want to take your button and get the ends of your cords and insert your cords into your buttonholes. So you want to thread in one side and then thread back out the other side. And you want to do this for all your cords and you can put them into the buttonholes whichever way you want but I tend to go across with two and then across the other ones with the other two. So once you've got all your cords threaded on you should end up with something that looks like this. So now you can take your board and you can clip your button to the top of the board. So next you want to put your cords in colour order. So you want an outside colour and you want the same colour at the outside each time. Then you want your next colour. So you can do these in any order that you want. So if I'm going to do blue at this side and pink at this side, I want to have purple in the middle of each of the colours at this side. So I've got one purple in the middle of the pink and one purple in the middle of the blue. So I'm going to start with the central knotting. So I'm going to take these two colours and I'm going to clip those to the bottom of the board. And I'm going to take the two purple on the outside and I'm going to do a square knot over the top. So I want to go over the top of those thread cords, sorry, and then under and through. And then I want to go underneath the cords and then underneath that one and through. And then I want to do the same thing again. So over and through. And then under and through. And then I want to take the blue cord and clip that to the bottom of the board. And I'm going to go over with my border colour. So I just want to go over this one with the border colour and then pull it through and then under and pull it through and then do the same thing again so over and through and then under and through and then I want to do a mirror of this at the other side so next I want to take the pink colour at the other side and then taking the border colour, I want to do the same thing that I just did over the blue cord. So I want to go over and through, and then under and through, and then do the same thing again, over and through, and then under and through. For your second row, you can take both your purples, or whatever colour you were knotting in the centre, and you can clip those to the bottom of your board. So working this side first, I want to do the same thing that I did in the centre. So I'm going to work two square knots over one purple card. So you're going over and through the first time, and then under and through the second time. And then for your second square knot, do exactly the same thing again. Just go over and through the first time, and then under and through the second time. And then you want to do the same thing at the other side. So taking your pink cards this time, you're going to go over and through, and then under and through. And then just repeat this for your second knot. And once you've knotted those, you want to do the same thing that you did for your first row again. And you want to keep repeating these two rows until you've got your bracelet as long as you want it.
So once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it, you want to create space for the buttonhole. So you want to take half your threads at one side and put half to the other side and then leaving one of your cords out, you want to attach the rest to the bottom of the board. And then you want to take your outside cord and go over the top and through and then under and through. You want to keep doing these knots until you've got the space big enough for the button to go through and how many knots you'll need will depend on the size of your button so it is a good idea to measure as you go along. And you want to do this at both sides. So once you've got the same amount of knots at each side you should end up with a little gap for your button to fit through. So now you just want to do a square knot or a couple of square knots at the end to fasten your buttonhole. So you want to take one of your longer cords and do this at each side and then clip the rest to the bottom of the board. And you just want to do as many square knots as you want at the bottom just to fasten everything in place. So once you're happy everything's secure, you can remove your bracelet from the board. And then you want to trim and seal any tail ends. So I'm going to use a lighter to seal mine, but you could use glue if you prefer. And you should end up with something that looks like this. So now you just want to try on your bracelet. And that is your completed four-tone macrame bracelet.